So I would say that the, the key benefits, I mean, look, there's so many benefits. So it's impacted how, how my work life is, how my home life is with my children, with my husband. Um, and I, I think a key difference for me is, I, I recall when I very first started my course with you, and I remember coming in and, and, and actually saying to you, I actually feel like I've got a really good quality of mind. I'm very optimistic, um, you know, I don't try to control and react to things that aren't within my power to control or react to. Um, what I really didn't realise at that time was that, was that I was efforting. I was putting all of this effort into the elements that I felt I could control, pushing down some feelings that weren't useful for me. Since doing this, this course, I think the key thing has been the knowing that that's not necessary. The the, the knowing that it's it's at, at my default setting is that that I'm trying to achieve, and I don't need to try to achieve it. So it's impacted all elements of my life massively. And what is it that you're relying on then? If it's not efforting, what is it that you're tapping into now? Do you think? So I certainly don't feel as though I'm needing to tap into anything because what I have, it's there. It's my, it's my default setting. It's innately with, within me. I don't have to resist negative feelings or feelings of stress or worry or concern, um, or I don't have to, to kind of try to ignore them. I can welcome them. I can accept them. And I know that it's within me to to respond in a way it, it will come to me how how I need to respond and it it's it's there it's just not it's not at all it's not a method it's not it's not a learning it's not any of those things it, it comes beneath it's the the core underneath all of those things they're great tools to have and and, and it's and do you think there's any areas of life or work where this understanding isn't relevant no, absolutely none. I think, I think to have this understanding, to have this realization, is is massively impactful for everyone and anyone. Whether you're somebody that feels like you're able to react to situations and you're able to cope really well and under pressure, and you've got self discipline, you've got willpower, whatever it might be as well as those that, that really do struggle day to day with, with, with challenges and things that wouldn't be a struggle for, I, I think irrespective of all of that, beneath all of those layers is something that, that allows you to tap into with no effort, you know, natural resilience, creativity, um, really just happiness, just, just general, joy in the simplest things and, and, and even joy in some of the things that you would have perceived as quite difficult situations before. And if a friend was to say to you, okay, so should I do this quality of mind thing? I've got a few things I could do. I could do some mindfulness retreat. I could do some coaching. I could read some books or I could do nothing at all. Should I do this quality of mind thing? Is it relevant? Is it worth it? What would you say? I would say it's, it's far more worth it than all of those other traditional methods. Although it's great to have the tools to be able to, to achieve better, to do more, you don't need to, to apply that learning. You don't need, it, it, it's unnecessary. I would say it's absolutely worthwhile. And why do you think more people don't know about this or do this yet? So, in my view, I think, I think because it's a very difficult understanding to articulate, and I think because, because we've all created 
this this self like we, we we've created this identity within us that actually isn't us um i think i think we've, we've got a bit of we're holding on to that we've got a bit of pride almost in that because we think it helps us we think it allows us to go further and achieve more when in actual fact it holds us back it constantly holds us back um and i think i think once you've had that realization and you things just pop up all over you know whether it's just a conversation around the dinner table where you know if it's a tricky situation at work whatever the scenario might be to have that knowing is just hugely powerful so how useful and relevant do you think quality of mind will be for your future so i think it would be i think it will be i think it already has been really really important for my future i i would love to see children in tune to this I'd, uh, before before we really create this me that we have i would love i would love for children to be exposed to this and i think to be able to carry this understanding through various periods of life we all we all encounter difficult times i i i feel like this knowing is going to make a difference a huge difference to, to those experiences that we have continually. Okay, so in summary, if you had three words to use to describe quality of mind, what might they be? Oh, okay, that's a good question. What do you think is key on how you enable yourself to have these realizations? I would say, I would say what is key is to let go. As simple as that sounds, it's to it's just to let go because that's where those realizations happen it's already impacted us um at home with issues with the kids that have popped up um and, and been really powerful actually particularly for my daughter um who, who had some kind of anxieties that were creeping in over very everyday things um and just to be able to speak with her about, you know, why, why, why is it bad? I wonder why it's bad that you feel anxious. I wonder why you're trying to fight that. And, you know, is it really you that feels anxious or is it this you that you've created and you've labeled and you've empowered it? And it's just, it's just been hugely impactful. And I just, certainly for me, I think it's something that I'm gonna continue to dip into on a regular basis not as a, a way of kind of continually learning at all but just as a, a reminder just as a reminder that it's all it's all there and language throws I mean it's thrown me off in the past the language that we use to talk about this um, because it's not you know those words are never literal so yeah, I think, and, and I think whereas probably previously when I've I've done your course or I, we've had these sh shorter sessions of like half a day or a day, I think I've been trying to kind of learn. And I think this time, I don't know what is different, but this time round, there's just a, there's just a definite knowing, which is just, it just feels lovely. And if someone said, oh, that sounds interesting, I don't want to do a three day thing. I'll just go on the hour course. That'll yep. be fine. I'm a quick learn. I'll get it. What would you say to them? So I honestly don't feel like you could, you could, you could really reach the full, have the full impact. I don't think in a day, I, I feel like because the three day course is essentially, it's not just gaining say an understanding it's not really an understanding, an understanding of what is there within you within all of us within everyone and that connectedness it also consists and it's really important is is kind of the unlearning of what we thought was and I think that is a key component in order to reach this realization is it's not only to hear it 
and to know it and to believe it or whatever, however you might, it, it's also, it's also unlearning everything that we've been taught throughout all of our years as to how we cope with certain situations and scenarios and mechanisms that we can use and, and tools that are to happen. So it's unlearning all of that that's been drilled into us. And, and I don't know that you can achieve that in one day. I believe immersing yourself into, into this for three full days where you're tuning out from any outside noises is, is, is where you're going to see the real key benefit. So really what takes the time in this is the unlearning, not the learning. I agree. It's the yeah. unlearning. In fact, it almost feels like the learning happens very suddenly. Like, you know, it, it is the unlearning and the fact that we want to understand it, but what about this? And, but I've done this, but it, it's that kind of scenario that for me takes the time. So three words that describe quality of mind. So I would say powerful is the first one. There's such a, um, there's such a, a reassurance in knowing that you don't have to try, you don't have to learn, you don't have to fight certain situations, feelings. That's a, a, a I'd say powerful is definitely the first one that springs to mind. Um, I'd say eye-opening as well. I think it's such a huge shift from what we think is to then what we know is. I, I would say that's a key, a key word. Eye-opening, two words kind of. Um, and then the third word is just necessity because I feel like everybody should have this knowledge. I, I don't feel like this should be something that's gifted to the fair few that are exposed to it or, or are curious enough to kind of dig into it and, and understand more. I feel like it's something that everybody should have the chance to be exposed to. So I'd say necessity is the third.